now a murder suspect who cut off his ankle monitor is back in custody. We're told he was charged in a deadly Canal Street shooting and was able to break free from his device overnight. WDSU reporter Elizabeth Kubel is live following the very latest on this escape and the new legislation targeting cases just like this one. Elizabeth. Exactly right, Travers. He broke free for about 12 hours overnight. And as you mentioned today, I have learned about new legislation going into effect to stiffen the penalties the next time something exactly like this were to happen. This man is now back in custody, turning himself in Thursday morning after we're told he cut off his ankle monitor 12 hours prior. ASAP, an ankle monitoring program, walks us through the moments after getting the alert. We begin our series of things that we do, and that's, that includes checking the equipment to make sure that it's not malfunctioning. That includes reaching out to the offender, and then it cascades into notifying bail agents, notifying judges, notifying law enforcement. And when does it ha happens the second we get the alert, it doesn't stop until it's completed. Court records show the suspect was out on a $350,000 bond in connection with a second degree murder charge that stemmed from a 2021 deadly shooting in Orleans Parish on Canal Street. On Wednesday night, ASAP says he took off his ankle monitor on Wright Avenue, that's on the West Bank of Jefferson Parish, and threw it in a canal. Former state rep Joe Marino worked on legislation that now takes effect in just days on August 1st that deals with prosecuting cases just like this one. If you cut the bracelet, you can be prosecuted not only where you do it for simple escape, but you can also be prosecuted in the same parish or jurisdiction as the judge who placed you on home incarceration. So now they can actually prosecute it locally if it, you know, no matter where you were serving your home incarceration. And it is an issue top of mind as the ankle monitoring company says it just wrapped up a productive meeting with the DA working on solutions for these situations and for the victims of the crimes. Our meeting today was to work out a couple of snags and that, that's he's definitely got his hands in it. He's working to make sure that those go away. And ASAP told me that they will meet again with the DA in two weeks. Reporting live in Mid-City, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WDSU News.